Hi guys, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Earth signs. We'll find out how you're doing, what's on your mind, the person that you're dealing with, what's on their mind in regards to you, what is negatively impacting the situation and connection, and what is the advice from spirit, okay? This is a timeless reading. Whenever you see it is when you're meant to find it. Um, it's uh, weekly love messages, okay? Also, it's not uncommon to see two of the same cards come out. I like to blend my decks. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see that I like to combine them. Okay, how are you? How are you? Taurus, Burger, Capricorn. Okay, so you've got Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So... You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Grace, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, or have that in your chart. Um, so right now it feels like you are you caught up in this like fantasy of what of what things could be. Okay, uh, with Seven of Cups, it's like not sure. You're spending a lot of time thinking about maybe the potential of this connection. You know, you're imagining a lot about how things might play out. Um, it's it's like your mind keeps going back to, you know, those moments when it feels, things felt good or what it could be, you know, when things just clicked. Um, the thing is, um, this idealized version is keep, is keeping you stuck, actually. So you're so wrapped up in the what if, you know, the, the, the Seven of Cups is kind of in the dark. It's driven by illusion or delusion. Um, yeah, it's, it's like what if, if it's, it, it's making it hard to deal with the reality of what's actually happening. Okay. Um, yeah. And I feel like with the four of swords here, I feel like this shows that even though you're thinking about this connection a lot, you're also feeling quite overwhelmed. So something's holding you back, you know, from fully engaging with this uh, situation. So you've decided to take some time uh, introspecting, you know, some, some reflection here, you know, maybe it's fear, maybe it's uncertainty. I don't know. Maybe, you know, it could be emotionally exhausted. But it's like you're not ready to dive in fully, okay? So it's it's like torn between wanting this connection and not being able to to ha to handle everything that's you know going on with this with it at at the moment. Um, with the Page of Cups here, it's about you know um, messages, you know um, something new, you know like a crush. Um, I feel like this is about maybe some kind of feelings maybe that you haven't expressed. Uh, maybe some emotions that you might be, you know, keeping to yourself, maybe not letting this person know that like a crush does, you know, you like them, but you don't really say anything. Um, you know, it could also mean that, you know, while you're thinking about this person a lot, there's still an element of like some kind of mystery between the two of you. Um, you know, things not really being fully laid out on the table, you know, I feel like that's also, that could also be adding to that uncertainty here. Okay. So uh, the person on your mind and what they're up to in regards to you. Okay, so you've got the star. Okay, someone's a star here. You've got the eight, uh, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, and you've got the Six of Cups. So this person could be from your hometown, your home country, um, you know, or, the, or there's just some sense of familiarity here. Um, yeah, there's someone here... Um, I feel like this person, they might be getting a lot of attention, you know, right now, or there's some position where they are like being seen, could be on social media, you know, they could be like a literal star, right? They could be very, um, getting a lot of attention, you know? Um, I feel like, I feel like it could be that maybe this, they're feeling very, very vulnerable here as well. So they might be getting attention that maybe they don't really kind of like, maybe that it's too much for them. You know something like that um they could also be dealing with like maybe outside pressures you know uh feeling like maybe they have to perform they have to like put on a show or something is how i'm seeing it um yeah or maybe you know because they're naked I'm, I'm really noticing how how she this the she's in the nude um this is like maybe you know feeling like you're under some kind of a microscope you know and it's I feel like there's also something here that's making them hesitate, you know, coming towards, coming towards you here. You know, there's a lot of um, intensity in this connection. I feel like, 
I feel like they ran. I feel like they ran because instead of embracing this connection, they ran. Okay. I feel like they weren't really, uh, the, the knight of, the knight of wands in the reverse is like the player, you know, is like the cheater. So, or just somebody who's not ready for commitment. You know, they don't have to be a, a player or a cheater. I'm not seeing it like that in, in this case anyway. It's just somebody who's non-committal or maybe just not ready to, uh, for that depth of what you have to offer. Um, so instead of, you know, working through that, they chose to like just distance themselves, you know, and focus on whatever it is that they're doing. Um, it's, it's that classic fight or flight uh, response here. Okay. Uh, in this case, they chose fight. So, yeah. And with the, with the six of cups here, I feel like even though they ran, I feel like they haven't let go because the six of cups in the upright is memories, is nostalgia, is the, a lot of, um, you know, they, there's good memories here. You know, I feel like they keep replaying those kind of moments in their head, maybe thinking about all the good times, you know, the six of cups is about good times too. It's like they're stuck in nostalgia, you know, holding on to that connection, you know, a form a distance though, you know, at a distance. Um, I don't feel like they're like reaching out or anything. It just, but I feel like they're just not over it. Okay. There's just a lot of, uh, they're just thinking about you a lot, you know, just a lot of, uh, memories here, good memories. Yeah. So what is negatively impacting the situation, the connection? Okay. So you've got the hermit card, you have the six of swords and the ace of wands in the reverse. Mm. I'm seeing the ace of wands in the reverse as, um, I don't know. I, usually, I don't usually get that, but that's how I'm seeing. Anyway, let's let's just let me just explain to you. You've got a uh, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so you know, I feel, okay. So um, maybe this person could be. I was going to say this is the sort of person. You know, Ace of Wands. I'm kind of seeing it as as a burning wand. I don't know why I'm seeing it like that this time, but um, apart from that, I feel like that's not even the main thing here. I feel like maybe this person could be going through some kind of external pressures, you know, maybe legal matters or something, even though I don't, it's not in the cards. I'm just kind of seeing it that way. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of stress and, you know, a lot of tension that's adding to this whole thing. So I feel like somebody's going through, um, legal matters. Um, you know, I feel like, uh, even if you were together, I feel like the connection would be very heavy because someone's going through something like that. Okay. Um, the, the six of swords here is about someone in this connection is thinking of, you know, of letting go or, or maybe, yeah, or maybe they already have. Um, six of swords is about moving from chaos to calm. It's about, you know, um, yeah, just moving, not, not being able to stay in that place because the water is like, pretty rocky and tumultuous, you know, so they, they need some peace and stability in their life. So I feel like, um, you know, whether it's you, whether it's them, I feel like the energy of moving on from the present, it's, it's not fully happened yet, but I just feel like maybe it's that feeling of wondering, should I just let this go? You know, or is it, is it worth holding on to this? You know, that sort of feeling. So I feel like there's a sense that maybe someone is mentally or emotionally checked out, you know, um, cause the swords are of the mind. You know, it's not, um, it's not in the physical, it's, it's a lot of thoughts there. So I feel like that's also, that also could be creating a distance between the two of you. Okay. And, uh, speaking of distance, uh, you know, the, the hermit card here does take himself away from, you know, from everything, you know, there's a, there's the gap there, it just keeps growing, you know, because whether it's a physical you know, emotional, whatever space that you have between the two of you, it's just getting bigger and bigger. Somebody's choosing to isolate themselves. Okay. The hermit card is about just, um, following your own light or just taking some time out, you know, uh, or it's just, you know, less communication, maybe not making a lot of effort to, to communicate or to connect. Um, yeah, it's about being far apart. I feel like uh, distance also could make it hard here, you know, to keep something alive. Maybe somebody is, you know, the hermit is at the top of the mountain, so nobody's there, right? So I feel like there's a huge distance here, and I feel like somebody is, it's it's, it's hard to keep this connection uh, alive, or, or at least it's contributing to that feeling, you know, being somebody slipping away. Okay, so what is that advice from Spirit? I feel like this went pretty well. It's... Um, 
I've been enjoying reading like this lately. I feel like this is a great way to read the cards. Let's see. What is that, guys? From Spirit. Okay, so you've got the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so. Um, well, uh, I think it was Aries Leo Sagittarius who put this, who pulled it out in uh, in the in the advice as well for um, the Queen of Swords in in the advice position. So this is basically I'm getting the same message about speaking up. You know, um, you know the Queen of Swords tells you like it is. All right, she um, she doesn't hold back. You know, um, I feel like I feel like she, you know, this is the advice. You know, you don't hold back. You know, uh, you might have to. You know, deal with some tough conversations you know or maybe you might be quiet because you're afraid of something or um yeah but i feel like here you need to let that person know how you truly feel you know whether it's the connection itself or just something that's that's bothering you you know so you need to be honest here and you need to be you need to be open um the ace of swords here is is like uh hmm being clear about what you want you know um maybe have you have you allowed stuff to to move to the side you know when you shouldn't have um i feel like sp speaking your truth as well you know or maybe being clear in your truth or you know own your part in this you know not not blaming um it's not not really a, a way of blaming yourself but kind of like empowering yourself to make better choices you know um yeah, because every, we're all responsible for our own choices, right? So I feel like this is about you being clear with yourself too and speaking your truth here. And uh, with the Four of Pentacles here, um, you know, how much are you holding on to this connection? You know, uh, you know, kind of some of some of us or some, you know, so, some of us lose sight of uh, of ourselves when we and what we truly want, um, you know, when we're in these connections. Uh, when you get too attached to someone you know so it's about loosening that grip a little bit you know the four pentacles is holding on you know this is like making sure that you're not like letting go you know so whether it's clingy whether it's being needy uh or it's just trying to control everything you know, trying to control a situation here i feel like you need to loosen that grip and just trust that what's meant for you is is going to find its way you know it's okay to let go even you know even just a little bit just it's about things flowing naturally Okay, so yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.